But just remember this, and I'll just talk about the world for just a little while. And this is a good scripture from Revelation 21.8. Sister, Sister Bell, I'll read in English first. But the fearful and the unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Ngunit sa mga duwag at sa mga hindi mananampalataya at sa mga kasuklam-suklam at sa mga mamamatay tao at sa mga mapakiapig at sa mga manggagaway at sa mga mapagsamba sa Diyos-Diyosan at sa lahat ng mga sinungaling ang kanilang bahagi ay sa dagat-dagatang nagliningas sa apoy at nasupre na siyang ikalawang kamatayan. Amen. This, this right here should be enough for us to have a strong burden for the lost. To know that they're where they're going. The ones out there that are trapped. They're trapped in the world. They've been blinded by the God of this world. They think gambling and smoking and babiero and all that is what really matters. They think, oh, just because they do this or that, they're saved from their sin. But they're not. They're not. They're going to the lake of fire, like it says. And this applies to the Baklatu and the Tambui. And they think it's a joke here. Oh, it's cute. It's cute. It's cute. It's cute. That's why Dolphin is so popular, right? You always play a bakla, right? But in the Bible, it doesn't say that. It's not a joke, joke. Surya Sunya. That's very serious. It doesn't please God. Hallelujah. It's an abomination to God. Now, I'm not putting the bakla, you know. They're just like the Baba Yero. It's all sin. There's no higher or lower sin. But to say that the Bakla is normal, to say that the tomboy is normal, to say that Baba Yero is normal, it's all sin. Hallelujah. It's all a lie from the devil that wants to keep people trapped in their sin. He doesn't want people saved. The devil wants people trapped in their sin. That's why we have to pray more Amen. and say, I want my family saved no matter what. Hallelujah. I want them to feel the power of the Holy Ghost in fire. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. And of course, we, we suffer with that as well. We suffer with our flesh. Hallelujah. Remember what? Last wife. That's what Jesus said. Remember Lot's wife. What did she do? While they were fleeing Sodom and Gomorrah, they're running, and she looked back. And she became a pile of salt. Why? Tradition says she even started turning back and walking back to Sodom. Because she missed sin. She kept looking back on the way she used to be. We can't do that. We can't keep looking back at sin. Oh, I miss those old days. I miss those days of, of, uh, of being drunk. I miss those days of gambling. I miss those days where I used to go carousing. No. Those days, those good old days of sin are no good. We have to say, this is the best life I've had now. Hallelujah. That this Holy Ghost is better than drugs. Yes, this Holy yes, Ghost yes. is better than drinking. This Holy Ghost is better than all the world has to offer. Hallelujah. Amen. Because what we feel in this place Amen. is better than all those things. Amen. It doesn't make us come over. It doesn't make us go spend all our money and waste all our money. Hallelujah. Praise God. And we need to fight that urge. The urge to be like Rod's wife and look back on the way we used to be. I didn't grow up in church. I used to be, I wouldn't say I was lost in Gero, but I drank a lot. I drank that way. You know? I did other things. I party. You know? that In, in the world, that's normal. You don't, don't, those of you who haven't grown, grown up in the church, don't go to that. Don't think that's better. Don't think drinking and smoking and, and suval and all that is better. This is the best. 
Hallelujah. This is where you belong. Hallelujah. The spirit of the living God and power. Hallelujah. That's what we need. More power. Everybody clap for the Lord right now. Hallelujah. But back to our cross. Back to the cross that we carry. And what it means to us spiritually and practically. Taking up, carrying our cross spiritually. That's what we usually talk about. When we talk about daily prayer and fasting. How, what is our cross spiritually? It's doing those things to stay in the kingdom. Working out our faith with fear and trembling. Daily Bible reading. Learning to trust God with our needs. Church and Bible study attendance. Praise and worship. But the cross that we carry goes deeper than that. And stronger than that. Hallelujah. Practically speaking, the cross that we carry goes into areas such as where we live. If we move. What kind of job do we have? Life decisions. Our Lord wants to bless us in all different ways. Amen. Of course, He wants to bless us spiritually. We know that. But He wants to bless us practically in our everyday lives. With our jobs. With our co-workers. With our sweldo. With things like that. If we're obedient to Him, praise God. But the influence of unsaved family members will only make things worse if we listen to our family that's not saved. That says, well, I want you to go abroad. I want you to make more money and send me money home. A lot of pressure from Filipino families to do that. I know that. Yes, sir. Let's read the, the parallel version of that scripture from the Gospel of Luke. Luke 14, verse 26 and 27. I'll read English first. If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yes, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. And whosoever does not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Kung ang sino mang tao ay pumaparito sa akin at hindi napupuot sa kanyang sariling ama at ina at asawang babae at mga anak at mga kapatid na lalaki at mga kapatid na babae, oo, at pati sa kanyang sariling buhay man, ay hindi siya maaari maging alagad ko. Sino mang hindi nagdadala ng kanyang sariling krus at sumusunod sa akin, ay hindi maaari maging alagad ko. Amen. We know, we know the scripture is not about really hating our family. This is about taking up our cross for the Lord. When saved or unsaved family members want us to do something against the will of God. Against the teachings of the church. Something against the word of God. Like going back to the Catholic. The family members that want you to be like everyone else. And go back and not worship like we do. That pressure you to go back like everyone else. You just want to, you should just fit in. Why are you different? Why are you born again? Why do you jump around like that? Why do you worship the way that you do? Why do you wear skirts all the time, women? Why don't you wear sexy things like the rest of everybody else? Don't you want to be sexy and wear makeup? No. That's a sacrifice. That's your cross. That's your bearing. That you're following the will of God. That you're strong in the Lord. You don't care what people say. You don't care what people think. If they criticize you, oh, you're looking like a nana. No. We have to be strong. We have to not care what others say about us. Oh, why don't you have many girlfriends like every Americano out there? Why don't you mother here like the rest of them? No. I'm not going to do that. I follow our Lord Jesus Christ. I follow the will of God. And we should all do that. And say, I'm going to bear my cross. I'm going to please my master. Hallelujah. Amen. This is a strong word. Every time I see I come back here, the Lord gives me something strong to say. He wants this church to be on the fire. Amen. He wants this church to follow His will. Amen. He would say to the letter, be be, be crucified 
with our Lord Jesus Christ. I preached a message here before. I remember last time. But well, he may increase and I must decrease. Amen. No, I die daily. I die daily. Everybody remembers that message. That we die to ourselves. That we die to, to our own will. We die to what we want to do and follow His will in our lives. Hallelujah. You want to get closer to God? Amen. You want to be blessed by our Lord Jesus Christ? Then do that. Not my will, but thine. Your will be done. Hallelujah. Amen.